Hi Lehman Scholars, my name is Beth Caesar and I am the principal of Lehman Virtual Academy. In honor of Patriots Day, I'd like to read the story Fireboat, The Heroic Adventures of John J. Harvey. New York City, 1931. Amazing things were happening big and small. The Empire State Building went up, up, up. Babe Ruth hit his 611th home run in Yankee Stadium. The Tasty Candy Treat Snickers hit the stores. The George Washington Bridge was suspended eloquently across the mighty Hudson River. Champion Pedley Calling of Blarney won Best in Show at the Westminster Kennel Club. On a hot and jazzy night, the word Hacha was invented. And on a sunny, fresh day, the John J. Harvey Fireboat was launched. There were 12 fireboats in New York City. The Harvey was the largest, fastest, and shiniest fireboat of them all. It had five diesel engines so it could go 20 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Eight pipes that could shoot 16,000 gallons of water per minute equal to 20 fire trucks, a completely round steering wheel, a control dial in the pilot's cabin, many brass nozzles housed in the golden room, a very nice can to oil all the squeaks, ropes called lines, and lots of levers, buttons, and buckets. There was a pilot and a crew ready in two minutes to fight the fires. They were, they were a brave group, and there was a dog named Smokey, who did not put out the fires, but he had many nice spots. The Harvey went up and down the river fighting fires. It fought fires at the bustling piers. The piers were the places where ships and trains brought all of the matter and merchandise to be sold in the city, like wood and cotton and bananas and bubblegum and everything. It fought the fire of the great ocean liner, Normandy. Sometimes the Harvey just went out to shoot water in celebration, and many years passed. A new captain had come on board, Bob Leaney. He and his crew fought many fires, but New York was changing. The Twin Towers were now the tallest buildings in New York City, and the piers were closing. nineteen ninety five the city no longer needed so many fireboats the harvey was considered old and useless it sat in the water for five years waiting to be sold for scrap and then a very surprising thing happened a group of friends were eating at a restaurant called the florent they had heard about the fireboat and decided something let's save the harvey let's buy her everyone needs a fireboat we won't put out fires, we'll just have fun, and they did. They took it to Cadal's ship repair yard in Staten Island. Even there, they said, she is old, it'll be hard to fix her. But the owner said, fix, so they fixed, beautifully. They repaired the two propellers, making them new with shiny coats of brass brass, not rust. They repaired the holes with steel plates and covered the places where the rivets wept. They scrapped barnacles and seaweed off the hull and painted her with a shiny coat of red paint. And once again the Harvey was on the water. Huntley was at the wheel. Tim, the engineer, kept things running smoothly. Jessica, the assistant engineer at controls in the noisy engine room. Andrew Welding, 
Chase helping, John fixing, Tom cooking, and Bob Lenny watching over everyone and being very proud. They made friends with the only other fireboats on the river, the firefighter and the McKean. Everyone said the Harvey is an, a nice old boat, but she could never be used to fight a fire. Never. But then, on September 11th, something so huge and horrible happened that the whole world shook. It was 8.45 in the morning, another beautiful and sunny day. Two airplanes crashed into the Twin Towers, crashed, crashed, crashed into these two strong buildings. The news spread. The city had been attacked. Everyone was terrified, but people were brave. The entire city sprang into action firefighters and police officers and doctors and construction workers and teachers and children and cooks and parents. The mayor was strong. He said, we will all work together. We will not be broken. What were the people of the Harvey doing when the planes hit? Bob Lenny was trimming hedges. Tom was drinking tea in the kitchen. Chase was walking his dog radar. Tim was reading the paper. Andrew was welding. Jessica was writing a story. John was working. Huntley was reading David Copperfield. The Harvey was snoozing at the pier. They all had one thought, get to the Harvey, and they did. They called the fire department. John J. Harvey ready to help. How can we help? The answer came, you can't help fight the fire, but you can ferry boat people to safety. But suddenly an urgent message came loud and clear. John J. Harvey, where are you? We need you. The water pipes were broken and buried, and the fire trucks had raced to the scene, and they could not pump water. The firefighters attached hoses to the Harvey. The Harvey fought the fires alongside the McKean and the firefighter. For four days and nights, the Harvey pumped water. The crew took turns sleeping. People brought supplies, fuel, sweaters, gloves, pizza, sandwiches, and coffee. They worked and cried. They fought the fire until it was under control. Finally, it was time for the Harvey to go home. Everyone on the boat had never seen anything so terrible, and they had never felt so proud. The Harvey was a hero, and everyone knew it. The Harvey won an important award, the National Preservation Award. At the ceremony, the audience cheered, and some even cried. Now the Twin Towers are gone. Something new will be built. The heroes who died will be remembered forever. The Harvey is back to being a very happy boat. Not scrapped, not useless, and not forgotten. A proud and plucky friend... And all that's left to say is hacha and thank you. Wait a minute, there is something more to say. The friends of the Harvey have found a little tugboat to adopt. Doesn't everyone need a little tugboat? That is the story. Fireboat. I hope you enjoyed it.